Our planet is the only astronomical object that is known to harbour life. Nonetheless, there are some interesting facts and discoveries that have been made about outer space in our solar system. It just so happens that Earth is not the only interesting planet in our solar system. Saturn is regarded by astronomers as a gas giant, with an average radius approximately 9 times larger than Earth's. Although Saturn only has one eighth of the average density of the Earth, it possesses much more volumes which makes it more than 95 times more massive. Saturn is unique among the planets. It's a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium, and it's adorned with thousands of beautiful ringlets. Some interesting facts and discoveries have been made about this gas giant, and one of the most notable of these discoveries is Saturn's new massive ring. Going back in 2009, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope had discovered a massive ring around Saturn, by far the largest of the many rings of the giant planet. This ring was previously unknown to astronomers, and yet it had suddenly been discovered around the planet, showing researchers how little we really know about our solar system, let alone the universe. An astronomer at the University of Virginia Charlottesville, Dr. Anna Wurzbeer described the infrared ring as one supersized ring. In her words, she claimed that if you could see the ring in the night sky, it would span the width of two full moons. This giant new ring is at the end of the Saturn system, with an orbit inclined at 27 degrees from the plane of the main ring. Most of its material begins around 6 million kilometers or approximately 3.7 million miles from the planet, and extends outwards by another 12 million kilometers, which is roughly 7.4 million miles. One of Saturn's most distant moons, Phoebe, surrounds the new ring, and is presumed to be the source of its material. The ring is also thick, it measures around 20 times the diameter of the planet. This ring is capable of accommodating a billion planets the size of Earth if they were stacked together. The ring is made up of mostly dispersed ice and dust particles. Spitzer's infrared tests were able to detect the brightness and glow of the cool dust, which has a temperature of around 80 Kelvin, which is minus 315 degrees. This interesting discovery debunks the idea that planetary rings are usually found close to their planet, and goes to show that although we can't see them, it doesn't mean they're not there. This discovery can also help to solve a century-old enigma of one of Saturn's moon. Iapetus is known for its strange appearance. It has one bright side while the other is really dark, in a pattern reminiscent of the yin-yang symbol. Astronomer Giovanni Cassini saw the moon for the first time in 1671, and years later he discovered that it had a dark side, now called the Cassini Rigo in his honour. Saturn's new massive ring could explain how Cassini Rigo came to be. The ring turns in the same direction as Saturn's outer moon Phoebe, while Iapetus along with the other rings and most of Saturn's moons go in the opposite direction. According to the scientists, some of the dark and dusky material of the outer ring moves inwards towards Iapetus. One of the researchers said the following, Astronomers have long suspected there is a connection between Saturn's outer moon Phoebe and the dark material on Iapetus, and this new ring provides compelling evidence of that relationship. Another interesting discovery in regards to Saturn is that of its giant hurricane. Going back on the 29th of April 2013, NASA's Cassini spacecraft was able to get close to the planet's atmosphere. The raw images which were later developed showed complex structures and a dark swirling storm-like appearance, which NASA has called a giant hurricane. The Cassini spacecraft plunged with approximately 1,900 miles from the top of Saturn's clouds, and within 200 miles of the innermost visible edge of the rings during its expedition. NASA officials reported that as Cassini scientists and engineers did not know what to expect from the GAMP, although it seemed clear the unknown dust and debris could have been harmful. The spacecraft was rotated to operate its 13 feet wide antenna as a shield while diving, and it was collecting data during that time. NASA officials tagged it our closest look ever at the atmosphere of Saturn and the giant hurricane. In high resolution images and videos, Scientists saw that just the eye of the hurricane is estimated to stretch up to 1,250 miles approximately 2,000 kilometers wide, 
which is 20 times larger than the average hurricane on Earth. Thin bright clouds at the outer edge of the hurricane travel 330 miles per hour, 150 meters per second. The hurricane also swells within a large mysterious six-sided pattern that many have likened to a hexagon. One of the Cassini imaging team scientists, Professor Andrew Igasol at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, said they had to do a double take when they first saw this vortex because it highly resembles a hurricane on Earth. But this hurricane is of a much larger scale than any we've seen here on Earth. And the interesting fact is that it's somehow getting on by the little amount of water vapor in Saturn's hydrogen atmosphere, because both water vapor and lower atmospheric turbulence make hurricanes more powerful. And Saturn, just like any other gas giant, has a deep hydrogen atmosphere with little water vapor in it, yet it's still able to conjure such a massive wind. Scientists aren't exactly sure when the massive hurricane formed, but they believe it could be a permanent weather feature. Similar hurricane-like storms have been observed in other gas giants in our solar system, but what puzzled scientists is why wind speeds increase as we move further out in the solar system. The Cassini team have said that Saturn has given them a unique opportunity to study hurricanes, and how they act on different planets. In fact, Saturn's massive hurricane might help us to gain better insights into hurricanes on Earth. Unlike the hurricanes that we have on Earth which are affected by different factors that make them unstable, this newly discovered Saturn hurricane is not affected by such factors. It does not encounter land or ocean boundaries and is stationary at its North Pole allowing researchers to simply focus on the physics that govern hurricanes. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. This claim comes after researchers found that its ocean is over 1 billion years old, further saying this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that the time frame is long enough there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the ocean of Enceladus is around a billion years old. That's good news for life. It should have had enough time to arise, and there still should be some energy to power it. The Cassini spacecraft made 127 flybys of Titan, and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on the 15th of September 2017, and this was due to loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not just the airless icy body as it was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared and the four tiger strike fractures means that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. It's believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn has been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet, hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we can't see anywhere else, with scientists saying there's whole new worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the seafloor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks right into the core, where it's heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under its icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points out to the fact that it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe, and it makes you wonder what else could be out there. We've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space, and to venture on the moon. We've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes that have been able to reach some of the most remote places in space. Many organizations have decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Despite our efforts, 
scientists have said we've yet to make contact, and we still have no idea what could be out there. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries that have been made on Saturn? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.